Coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. Hello, everybody, and uh, happy Friday. I'm writing, 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 writing in my RV, my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, hello everybody. Here we are, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it is gonna be the last live from the road, the last remote live of this particular trip. Uh, we are here in in San Antonio, Texas. The last stop of this trip. We're from here, we're kind of hightailing it back to Florida, and um, and yeah. So. Where is, here we go, the RVD says push that button. Yes, and it's the return of Lucky Duck Productions moderator Sue, welcome back. And Jeffrey DiBartolo, Pete Diaz, been here for five generations, all right. And the young Dave, hey Robert, did you buy a can of spray paint to add your personal touch at Cadillac Ranch? Let me tell you, I was, I was going to, but we had winds of like 50 miles per hour. And uh, that that spray was gonna go everywhere, but the the, the Cadillac. So we didn't do it. <laughs> and that was a couple of years ago. That was the thumbnail for this video. Um, can I enter it? Enter it from Sholo. Uh, I will take a moose drool beer from Montana. Actually, yeah, you are from Montana, of course. Uh, Brandon Stargell, hello, hello, happy Friday, RV camping and adventures, hola, fellow pelican heads, and uh, by the way, thank you for that super sticker you sent earlier before the live stream started, and uh, I'm just, uh, you know, scrolling here through uh, some kind person gift, uh, Jill69 membership, you know, I used to be able to give uh, memberships, and uh, I don't know what happened that they, they, they took that away from me. Because they don't take that away from me. Hey, Amaranto Cabrera, how you doing? We're going to do that. We, we got to get together to do the, the Pan American Highway. R Rudy Ruiz, hello, Rudy Ruiz. Uh, evening, everyone. Cheers. Uh, Jim Foster, Pelican Heads across the world. Let's go to press. Uh, Bob Leach, Mrs. Leach asks, how long have, you, have they been gone? You mean how long we've been on the road? We've been about six weeks, but we're gonna hightail it. You know, I want to, I want to be in in Miami by Tuesday, so you get why the hightailing. Uh, Roblox train chasers, hello, Jim and DC. Happy Friday, fellow Eclipse watchers. Hope you had a good view. Uh, it's one of those things. It's uh, it was extraordinary. Which, by the way, before you ask, um, uh, and it I wasn't able to chill it quite enough, but I'm having a Sky Trooper uh, IPA from Ranger Creek, and they're from here, from San Antonio. So, um, cheers, everybody. Which, by the way, we're coming today to you with um, for a live audience, and here we have Jason and Misty. Hey, what's up, everybody? Visiting. How's it going? Hello, hello. So, uh, and this is where we're staying. This is Sun Outdoors. So, Sun Retreats, is San Antonio West. It's uh, it's an older ca older campground, but quite nice. So, make yourselves at home. Absolutely. I see you've already uh, you've got yours open. I just opened mine right now. Hi, Trooper. Right yeah. On. Cheers, buddy. Right. Hey, cheers, buddy. Yep. Cheers. Cheers, cheers Misty. Cheers. Pineapple cider. Yep. And I forgot how, how to switch cameras here again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Using the iPhone as a second camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jill69, oh, no free membership. Guess I'll have to keep panning for gold in your wash until I can afford a membership. <laughs> well, you know, you never know. You never know panning for, from gold. Robert, you keep freezing. I'm free. Am I freezing? Well, you know, you know, I have the uh, Starlink. That you know, I keep telling them no trees, but they never listen to me. And there's a, a little bit of a tree cover up there that might be affecting our signal a little bit. I mean, it's it's actually pretty good because it is on the south side of the of the rig. North is, I believe, kind of that way. 
So it doesn't affect you, affect it all that much, but yeah. We may get a freeze here and there, but it's uh, it'll be back. Jim and DC, have you strolled the river walk uh, this visit? I, I wanted to... Uh, Behind every door at Houston Methodist, you know what to... Is this annoying? This? <laughs> is this annoying you too? I don't know if you can hear it, but... <laughs> Anyway, uh, no, the river, we, we actually, yesterday we did a, actually, this has been a trip of firsts. I mean, not because I planned it, because, you know, I, 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 I'm filming with a crew here and they planned it for me. But yesterday we did a Segway tour and I had never been on a Segway at the beginning. It's kind of unnerving, kind of, you know, you don't really know how to how to balance the thing. But once you get used to it, it's a, it is a lot of fun. So we did pass by the river walk. We saw it from above, but we didn't go down into it. But um, yeah, it's um, it's been a fun trip. Mick Zupan, hello again. I'm also Nomadic RV and Adventures. Well, hello there, David Pearson. Did you see where a new house bill will pass to allow filming in national parks? Um, I, you know, when, when you are on the road, you become kind of oblivious to, to the news, you know, on, on, unless there's a, there's an eclipse or, or an earthquake, you don't really, re, you know, you don't really, uh, realize the stream went bye bye. I'm, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a, my, my feedback stream here, uh, and it says that it's not at the, 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 the it says the current bit rate is lower than recommended. But I should, I should, you should be able to see me. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but equi, Equilibrist, thank you for that super chat. I don't have my bell, but next week I'm going to have my bell. So I'm going to be able to annoy you guys with the bell. Uh, it's a super sticker. Thank you so much. <clears throat> hey, young Dave, did you visit the Alamo this on this trip? Wondering if the Phil Collins... Uh, collection is on display. He was a big fan of the David Crockett, and we stopped in front of the Alamo. But what and as you know, we, I'm I'm doing this series with Son Outdoors, and what they wanted to do was do kind of like the uh, off the beaten path, San Antonio. So we didn't do the river walk. We didn't do the Alamo. We did do um, the Peril District and the Peril Brewery. We did do. Um, we went to some caverns today, actually, which was probably the highlight of the whole thing because it's what you don't expect to see in this area. And uh, let me tell you, if, if you've been to Carlsbad Caverns, this was like like a miniature version of Carlsbad. It was like a big room like that, just like a tenth of the size. But the rock formations were all over the place and all over the map. So, uh, Jason Berger, I kind of know someone. Yeah. Actually, that that airplane does look familiar. <laughs> you might have had one I may have even driven it for like a split second. Yeah, just <laughs> driven or flown it, piloted it. Piloted it. Yeah, dri okay. yeah, driven is um, not the right uh, term. <laughs> we can see and hear you fine in New Jersey. There you go. If if, if New Jersey in the house, and um, yeah, I think. Um, well, don't, don't despair if you're having difficulties. Next week, we're going to be back on, on 500 megabits per second fiber connection. Uh, so uh, it's, um, you, you're going to watch us on 4K. Tim Lawson, I recently became a patron. I really enjoy the videos. I look forward to them each week. And I'm sorry I haven't really done any Pelican Head updates during the, the past uh, a couple of, uh, like the past week. Um... It's been not hectic, but it's been different working on a different schedule, working, you know, with someone else behind the camera. So, um, and that we, we, we're done with that today. So, um, so back to regularly scheduled programming. I might do a Pelican head update on, on Monday from Pelicamp. Uh, Rob, uh, Bob Leach, Robert, the podcast was spectacular today. Your description of the visual solar event was awe inspiring. We watched it live, and to hear your description made us want to start packing for Spain. Well, I'm gonna, as you probably know, but I, maybe you don't know. Have I told you? Uh, next month, most likely, we're going to be going to Spain. And now that I'm going to Spain, you know, I'm gonna be scouting locations for a possible viewing of this uh, phenomenon in two years. And 
it's going to be a different phenomenon from what we from what we experienced here uh, the day before yesterday uh, on the on the eighth. I said that the day before yesterday. Now four days ago. Time flies. The time the time time is time is so relative when you're on the road. And we have a fly. I think that fly wants to drink my beer. Hi. My train of thought got derailed. Oh, Spain. This is going to be like an hour and a half before sunset. So it's going it's to be much lower in the ground. So the effect of the darkening may not be as dramatic. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I, I don't know because uh, I I mean, a, a solar a total solar eclipse is, so, is an event that is so rare that it's kind of hard to, to compare. They're all kind of different, right? But the only thing is it's going to be like only two minutes. It's only going to last two minutes, according to the the, the, the solar eclipse calculator that, that I saw. But I, I think I'm becoming a, a solar eclipse junkie at this point. I'm going to be a solar eclipse chaser. And there's one roughly every two years. There's a couple of them. There's one in Antarctica. We may not be able to see that one. But uh, the ones that are on, 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 you know, and there's one like over the Pacific. Maybe we can go to Tuvalu or something. But, uh, but there were Peter Diaz, thank you for that super chat. Check out Florida Cavern State Park, not far from Pelicamp. You know, we, uh, in, in about three weeks, we're going to do like a northern Florida loop. Georgia loop and uh, we might do that we might do that it's uh, it's gonna be one of those uh, a short trips maybe two weeks Daniel Ruiz thank you for that super chat what is the saluting soldier in the background I don't know yeah I see it back there I have no idea oh yeah I see it yeah probably a veteran so, yeah, probably a veteran will, um, I can get closer, but I don't know if I should. I don't know how, I don't know how far my remote camera will go. But anyway, a, a Prioris9, thank you for that super chat. Favorite place you've been in your RV. That's so hard to quantify to, you know, it's, it, it really, really depends. Oh man, favorite place. There have been so many. So many. Uh, we, we, we could talk about a beach destination, waterfront destination. We could talk about Valley of the Gods, which I was going to visit again, only that it started snowing. So I'm like, mm, maybe Valley of the Gods in the snow is it, once that snow melts, it's all gonna be mud. So um, maybe not. But um, in the camp, campsite behind you, it appears to be a, a statue of General Robert E. Lee. I don't know. That uniform seems a lot more uh, more, recent. more recent. Yeah, yeah. Radu Stafarak. Good evening, Robert. When you went to the Mars Research Station, did you also stop to see the Bentonite Hills? I don't think I saw the Bentonite Hills. We did two things on that trip that we went west of, uh, rather east of Capitol Reef. Uh, and we went to the the moon the, the moon overlook, which is this overlook that you it, you know it kind of looks lunar the surface down there. That then it becomes like more of the red sandstone, and then we took the it's like the the Capitol Reef back road. It's called the back scenic highway. It it, it actually junctions with the Burr Trail at some point. We just t took it as a scenic drive. I didn't feel like doing any more hikes on that day. But wait till you see that video. That's that's gonna be great. Um, Enter it. When are you going to check out lunar eclipse at the red moon? My favorite to watch. Uh, we'll see when the next one is. And uh, Mr. Roboto, Alaska or Norway? Actually, we stayed at some. Uh, now that we mention it, some of the nicest, uh, you know, remote, uh, you know, boondocking sites. We're in Norway. We 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 stopped at a, a quite quite. It's, it's so scenic on that west coast of Norway, and um, that's a trip that we want to do again at some point. Uh, uh, big Jim Slade, uh, traveling Robert, was Pelicamp affected by the big storms that rolled through northern Florida yesterday? I don't think so. No, I'm, I mean, I wasn't really paying all that much attention, but I, I don't think. I, I mean, it wasn't. Uh, I don't think it was that bad in Pelicamp. Oh, 
Okay, the, the statue says, Jason, is a personal veteran memorial back here behind me. Have you ever visited Meteor Crater in Arizona? Yeah, twice, actually. We, I visited back in 2018, and uh, now we visit it again on this particular trip. So you'll be seeing that. Good evening from Indianapolis. So totality of solar eclipse on Monday. Very cool experience. Yeah, it's, it's unique. It's one of those things. And... And my favorites is right before the eclipse. You know, you see, you still see the sun out. You see the shadows, but it's like someone put a dimmer switch on the sun and started, you know, lowering and lowering and lowering the, the intensity. And uh, all of a sudden, you see the, the 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 diamond ring and then the ring of fire. And uh, of course, it was cloudy in San Antonio, so those folks from around here just saw it get dark. Yep. But there will be other eclipses. Spain trip, how much video gear are you planning to take? I'm going to take my main Sony. I'm going to take at least one GoPro, the 11. And I might take the new one, which uh, actually have, I have to make a video uh, highlighting my cameras again because you know I haven't changed all that much of my equipment. I just I, I upgraded the computer and I got the, the new Ace Pro, which is by Insta360. And Insta360 is coming up with a new camera next week. I might may or may not get that new insta 360 it's gonna be like 8k it's gonna be insane and if i can justify it i i might get me a, a dji mavic mini 4 but i don't know yet i don't know if i i would love to fly the drone in spain i don't want to take my big drone so uh we'll, we'll see but yeah i'm gonna take as much as possible as as much as I, you know, I, I, I generally I travel pretty light when it comes to cameras, you know, I might take like a small travel tripod if I want to make like a time lapse, but yeah. Hey, Darlene Barcelo. Hello there. Uh, Indiana, Florida. What are we wrapping up this trip? This has been a six week trip. Um, this is it. We're hightailing it back to Miami. Barry81 Jones, thank you for that super chat. What a beautiful setting there. Looks like an ancient olive tree behind. Nice. Yeah, this is a, this is a nice, uh, it's, it's an older park, but it's, it's uh, very, very wooded, very nice. Uh, and still, you know, we, we, we even can't have Starlink, even with all the trees, so. Uh, David Pearson, I just said, uh, I was just thinking he need to make an updated video on cameras. Not a whole lot has changed, you know. I'm still using GoPro, I'm still using GoPro 7s from 2019. I'm, I'm still using my Sony FDRX 53, which is what now, like, I think they, they, they oh, that's a, that, is that the, one of the ones that we're not supposed to touch? Like the centipede? Oh, yeah. I don't know, all of a sudden we're getting a bunch of flies here. It's the outdoors. Arizona property update. Well, yes, we do have a Pelican West in Golden Valley, Arizona. We're not going to uh, um, develop it anytime. Well, maybe in January we'll do a little bit of development. We'll just, you know, just step by step, right? Like... Uh, Hey, Sandra Winters, hello there, and uh, Nem Ketaba, greetings from Chile. Hello, Chile. One of these days, uh, we're going to visit Chile. Uh, Darlene Bars... Too many bugs here. Darlene Barcelo, looks nice where you are. It's been raining here in New Hampshire today. Uh, we are in San Antonio, Texas, and right now it's getting a little cloudy, but it's been one of those blue sky days, not a cloud in the sky. And uh, yeah, it's been a good time. It's been a good time in Texas. We've been in Texas for about a week and uh, starting our trek south on Tuesday for a few weeks. We expect a few bucky stops. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna actually, tomorrow we're probably gonna have breakfast at Bucky's. And then lunch. Would it be cool to, to time the trip so we can have breakfast and lunch at different buckies along the road? I mean, 
we 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 can do like a Denny's too, you know, or, or a, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, Remy says connection is doing fine so far. If you can see us fine uh, uh, on the other side of the world, we're doing good. Raúl Medina, hi Robert, and welcome to San Antonio. Thank you, thank you. San Antonio, lovely town. We'll be back. Does anybody know the status of Apple and Rob? I heard they might have a baby on their way. Uh, Apple and Rob, I think they already had the baby. Uh, I follow them on Facebook, and I think they're doing great. George, Richard, uh, we're going out for dinner. All right. Bon appetit. Uh, just quick say hello and goodbye. Uh, Mark Z. Hammer, much docking. That's the way to do it. Alan Parr, Rick Steves would be proud of you, Robert, concerning trip to Spain. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this trip to Spain. Uh, as you know, I, I lived uh, oh, a little over a year in Madrid uh, in my late teens. And uh, yeah, looking forward to to actually being able to enjoy uh, the the country uh, quite a bit. Chef at large, brisket, egg, and cheese croissant. Is that a Bucky's? That sounds like a Bucky's kind of not croissant though. Bucky's is probably biscuit. I don't know. Radu, Robert, if you are thinking of upgrading the Sony A A X53, look at Panasonic X1500. It seems like a fantastic camcorder. I'm going to check it out because I want to stay with the camcorder form factor. I just did something. I mean, I wish it had the same stabilization and the same with something with a little better sensor. You know, right, the, the, the Sony works fine, but the, the, the dynamic range is not there. So if, if if I encounter something very bright and something very very dark, the camera will will do either or, not both. So is mom going to Spain? Probably no, not on this trip. She was gonna go uh, to Portugal when we were gonna do the cruise, but uh, yeah, she doesn't want to fly and then have to fly back. Um, I might take mom on a on a shorter trip soon. Sandra Winters, traveling Robert, it's so windy here in Carson City, Nevada, but the temperature is 66, but it feels like 69. Well, here is actually it's starting to cool down. There's a nice breeze, but this afternoon it was uh, in the 80s. Uh, Raul Medina, do you have room for more of an audience? Well, yeah, we can fit two more people here, three maybe. Yeah, is that what you mean? Because here in the chat, you know, actually, actually, I think we broke a record uh, on Monday at the uh, at the Solar Eclipse uh, live stream. We had like twelve hundred or something like that. That was uh, that was amazing. Mrs. Leach asks, are they going to rent an RV while in Spain next month or are they going to rent a little car and stay in hotels? We're thinking of staying at an Airbnb in Madrid for the first couple of nights and then we're renting a camper van. It's not going to be an RV, it's a camper van. Think of it as, uh, remember like uh, like the Heimer Active or, you know, that that's, it's like the typical uh, European camper van, east-west bed in the back. And we're gonna have a galley on the passenger side, a wet bath and a little closet on the driver's side, and then a, a small dinette in the front. It should work. Which cities do you plan on visiting in Spain? Well, we're gonna do like a southern loop on this trip. I wanted to do like a whole loop around Spain, but uh, we're gonna go, um, the first night, we're going to stay close to Madrid. We're going to go down to Toledo and uh, you know, just probably just spend the night. They have a large parking lot where you can park overnight. So, And it's walking distance. They have, now they have escalators that you go up to the, the, the hill, down on top of the hill. And then we're going to spend some time in the south. Probably from Toledo, we're going to do Cordoba, Sevilla, Seville, Cadiz, or Cadiz, if you're in Kentucky, but they pronounce it Cadiz in, in Spain. Uh, which actually is a town that looks very much like Havana. 
in, in, in the sense that you know it has its waterfront, it has like a like a like a seawall. Very very, it, it, there are certain angles where you can take a picture of of Cadiz and it kind of looks like Havana. Um, and then just go go along the coast, quick detour to Granada, Grenada, where you have the Alhambra and all that, and then uh, Ilis. Uh, uh, niece, she lives in in Alicante, so we're gonna go to Alicante and then keep on going north on the coast, Valencia, Valencia, and then to the area where the where the eclipse is going to happen. And then whenever it's like a day and a half left, we're gonna make a beeline back to Madrid, return the camper van, and uh, and fly home. <clears throat> That's kind of the the itinerary as of now. Of course, this is early days. We have only made two reservations. We have a plane ticket and we have reserved the camper van. But everything else in between is uh, serendipity, as they say. I would love to see uh, Robert traveling through Ireland. Well, it is my goal to do a European trip at least once a year. From now on, from from now until the foreseeable future, I mean we're overdue. So, uh... oh by the way, Amanda Dell twelve fifty one. Thank you for that super chat. Uh, what are your plans in New Jersey this summer? Well, we're going to the NJ twenty four meetup, YouTube meetup. Uh, besides that, by the way, everybody say hello to my mom. Eh, hello everyone, greetings and big hug from Miami. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Love, Mom. There you go. Robert almost broke the internet during the clips. You know, I try to, to give you guys, uh, given the circumstances, the, the most complete, you know, play-by-play -play coverage of, of what happened here. So, uh, says Dan Valdez. Cheers, Robert. Thank you for your coverage of the eclipse. My son and I were watching while we were experiencing here also in, this, in South East Wisconsin. We only had 90% coverage. And... Uh, my recommendation for anyone who's who is going to be in the in the in the way of an eclipse, and within within a hundred miles of totality, just drive two hours and experience the totality. It's uh, it's going to be such a such an incredible experience. Of course, here in the U.S., we're going to have to wait 21 years, but um, there there will be others. There will be other eclipses around the world, and. Uh, Timeanddate.com, I think, has the most complete uh, list. Chef at Large, thank you for that super chat. In Spain, try Boquerones and Vinagre. They are seriously good. In Alicante, obviously, Turrón. Great food tour. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to the food in Spain. And uh, I've had Boquerones, which is like anchovies, right? But uh, I, I've had them at Casa Juancho in Miami, which seemed to be pretty authentic, but... I'm sure nothing beats having them, you know, at one of those bars in Madrid, you know, or or Seville, or even Alicante. Jimmy DC, so sadly no NJ24. I'm still dealing with my wife's estate. I'm sorry, Jim. Uh, maybe we will see you at the, at the Hershey show. Uh, I'm still, you know, trying to to plan our our summer slash fall trip here. Uh, Christopher Olson, I managed to get home before the stream was over. Hello, everyone, everybody. Hello, Christopher from the great land of Sweden and Latisha Carver. Thank you for that super sticker. It is a cat with a big smile. Thank you. And we, by the way, we have Jason uh, uh, here moderating, moderating live in person. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> How do I change cameras again? There we go. I should have put this one on a tripod. You know. <laughs> um, so uh, where were we? <laughs> Oh, we're having such a great time here. Chris Hewer, late to the party. Hello from Wales, Robert and all. Well, you know, maybe we can do like the whole British Isles together with Ireland uh, next year. Someone has to teach me how to drive on the left hand side of the road, on the right hand side of the, of the of the vehicle. But more importantly, 
how to how to drive a stick with my left hand that i think is that's going to be like the hardest part right it's like it might be a challenge you know i just don't want to rent the 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 rv whatever we rent like in the middle of london you know let's rent it like in the outskirts like an easy road and i hear some of those country roads in great britain are like like really really super narrow i've been watching some videos Heath and alicia come to mind uh, hey, Garces on the road. Hello and happy weekend to all the Pelican heads. Happy weekend to you too, Garces in Naples, Florida. Speedy Ford, we visited the USS Lexington aircraft carrier while visiting Texas a week ago. Highly recommend. Yeah, very cool. And uh, I have never been to that one, but I've been to other... Well, I haven't been to an aircraft carrier now. Escape room there now. They do? They do. Escape room. I've never done an F aircraft carrier. I did the USS Alabama, and I did. A, there's a couple of that I've done, but very cool, very cool to to tour um, all these uh, old battleships. Mr. Domo Arigato, Mr. Robot. If you go to, ever go to Ireland, give me a shout and I will see if my distant cousin Simas can give you a pub tour. Hmm. How many Guinness can I have in one night? That's 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 the question. <laughs> Robert Ducky, happy Friday, Robert and Ilian Mom. It's Angela Black from Southeast Pennsylvania. Change YouTube name because of stupid people. <laughs> well, Anyway, yesterday was my birthday, Big 6-1. Would you sing for me, please? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, dear Angela. Happy birthday to you. I wish I had my guitar. I had a guitar here yesterday for one of the, the video shoots. A two-dog mom just joined. Where are you now? Still in Texas? We're in San Antonio, Texas. But by this time tomorrow... Well, who knows? We might still be in Texas. It's a very large state. But <laughs> the idea is by, by 529, which is going to be 629, wherever we are, uh, I intend to be in Louisiana at the very least. Depending on how many Bucky stops you make. Uh, depending on how many Bucky stops I make, yep. <laughs> this says David Person, Pearson. Moving to the left side is hard for the first hour. I did that in Scotland. Yeah, I imagine eventually you get used to it. But uh, I found driving a manual in the UK not much of an issue. There, I guess, you know, it's... And driving manual is like riding a bicycle. You know, you you, you have to get used to the, the clutch, whatever, you know, where, you know, sometimes it is higher, sometimes it is lower, sometimes it's more like sporty. But once you get the, the feel of it and that's... You know, it's probably three stoplights away. They did they, they, you, you get a, you get the hang of it. Driving a stick is easy. Grind them until you find them. How do you think I learned? <laughs> you know, I had an old Kia, older than old Kia. You guys never saw that one. It was a, a 1996 Kia Sephia, and it was thick. And I did, I did have to change the clutch after a while. But I learned. Robert Ducky, thank you, Robert. Love the acapella. You're very welcome. And uh, San Antonio and Waco are very nice cities to visit. I've never been to Waco, but maybe next time. Uh, do, do, do. I'm, I'm just scrolling back here. Uh, Arizona Red TV. I just uh, want to wish a happy weekend to everyone and to Robert and Ili. Yeah, Ili is in there in the air conditioner monitoring the chat as well i like the new camp good camper yeah they're really cute um when is your next trip well i'm, I'm just getting back from this one but it will be like in know, in six weeks more or less uh we're getting on an airplane adventures with bill and Libby. bill from utah the uk roundabouts are on the other hand yeah just like peli camp you know i did peli camp kind of in the uk way you do it clockwise instead of counterclockwise just because i wanted my camp my campsite to be on the inside yeah and uh, uh, 
spoiler alert, the roundabout at Pelican West is going to be a UK roundabout as well, because I want to be both my campsites to be facing the Bate, you know, the inside, the, the central uh, location where the campfire is going to go. Hey, Bob, uh, Robert, I'm sorry, new to your channel, but I love it. Ever consider a trip to Australia? Australia is in the short list probably next year, if not the year after. Actually, you guys are having a uh, solar eclipse in four years, so we might wait for them, or three years, actually. It's one year after Spain. But I do want to spend one whole month in, in, uh, in the outback, rent uh, probably a 4x4 RV and... Uh, and just do the whole thing, you know, start in Sydney and maybe go up the East Coast and then somehow come back down. And I haven't really planned this all that well, but, you know, uh, uh, Melbourne, Canberra, um, Perth, go up to Alice Springs, Darwin, you know, Uluru, the whole nine, the whole nine yards. That's the plan. We'll see. Ken and Mikey is on the chat. Montana Mikey, where's, where's, uh, where, hey, he says, hey, Jason. Fun Squad is with Traveling Robert right now. The Fun Squad is with Traveling Robert, says, says Jason. Uh, Robert is our clutch YouTuber. <laughs> Maria De Carli. Hello, Robert, Ilya, mom, we love Friday chat. Please sing happy birthday to my hobby, hubby. Ralph the Carly, happy birthday, dear Ralph. Happy birthday to you. Well done, traveling Robert. An intelligent people will spoil a plot and say spoiler alert. I didn't get it, but I'm sure it's a spoil a plot and say spoiler alert. Okay. Tell us more about the eclipse, says Jim Babski. Uh, you're going to North Dakota in several years. I th yeah, I think there's one in, is there one in North Dakota? Well, the, the next solar eclipse that we're having in North America is going through Pelicamp. So I'm telling you right now, Jim Forey has the, uh, already reserved one site. I think Jason is reserving the other sites. Yep. And the third site is going to go for one million dollars. <laughs> Robert, many Kate, uh, the pit bull will show up at the new property. Yeah, okay. Kate, the pit bull is still in the neighborhood, by the way. She has a new, a new, um, a new owner. She's uh, like a couple of. Does, does this bother you? I'm kind of getting used to it. Sing Happy Friday to us, please. Happy Friday. No, that's not it. No. <laughs> happy Friday. Uh, uh, Dan Valdez, thank you, thank you for that super chat. Cheers, Robert. When will you be going through Wisconsin again? Well, we're going. We're going to do a little bit of the Midwest in July. So there's a good chance, but I don't know. I haven't I haven't planned that far ahead. I know that I'm going to be in Forest City, Iowa sometime in July for the Winnebago Rally. I'm going to be in in, in Shipshawana, Indiana, a little, uh, a little uh, after for another Winnebago Rally. And uh, then we're going to, the, to New Jersey. But in between, you know, we've we got to do a couple of things there. Uh, it's going to be a, I'm not going to go, like, the, get the squad in the picture, says uh, Mike. All right, let's see. Let's see how this works. There's the, the, the squad in the picture. Say hello to Mike. What's up, Mikey? How are you doing, buddy? <laughs> Good to see you. And uh, here we are. It's getting a little, a little cloudy here, but, uh, but I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity to show you where we are. The campground here. I mean, this, is the, this whole thing is our site. These sites are are pretty big. This is a huge site we have right here, so uh, pretty cool. Your one million dollars reminds me of Austin Powers, the secret agent comedy movie. Yeah, that's exactly probably what, where I got it from. This is pretty good. What do you think of that IPA? 
I like it. Yeah, it's my type of IPA for sure. Dropped from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, it's actually a cool can. It is pretty cool can, yeah. Uh, cool, uh, Rob was glad you liked it. Okay, no, that's um, the dog has a new owner. Yeah, his uh, his original owner passed away, so um, he moved a couple, uh, couple of uh, she moved a couple of houses down the way. Stick shift are fun to drive on until you encounter uphill and stop and go city traffic. Yeah, that, those uphills can be tricky. I agree. Uh, sometimes you have to play with the emergency brake on those up uphills. Yeah. Uh, if you can go to Wisconsin, do it. Beautiful state parks. We're going to try and uh, maybe stay at one of those lakes. Bob Leach, hey, Robert, what happened with the idea of going the clockwise or counterclockwise? Counter well, how many uh, degrees of alcohol does this have? <laughs> Only six and a half. I, I should be a little more coherent than this. A clockwise or counterclockwise trip around the Great Lakes. That sounded epic and spectacular, if I may say so. It's not entirely off of the, the possibilities, but it may not happen this year. I mean, that, that it's, it's a big undertaking. It's a, it's a big commitment. It's, it's a long trip, just going around the whole Great Lakes. And I was thinking of starting at Niagara Falls on the American side uh, and just going around clockwise and ending at Niagara Falls Canadian side. We may still do it. We may still do it. But uh, I haven't had a chance to, to really look at the map look at the calendar and see how we're going to make all that work out. Everything is good in Texas, especially the steaks. Oh, and the brisket. Oh, man, the brisket. It's all about the brisket. Eric Johnston, thank you for that super chat. Thank you. Um, we got our 2023 Class A towing a Rubicon hitting the road. FT, starting one week from today. Full time, starting one week from today, heading to Iowa from Minnesota, then the Black Hills. Tips? Oh, enjoy. That's a great trip. I'm going to the Black Hills on I 90 there. That's, that's going to be a great trip. And congratulations on full timing. Uh, just once you, right before you cross the, the Missouri River, stop by that. Dignity statue. That's a that's a great place to stop, take a break. You know, Lewis and Clark Trail, this and that. And uh, my watch keeps reminding me that I have a live stream. I'm real ready doing live. Stream. Anyway, just notice the difference in topography and landscape once you cross the Missouri River. Because as, as Steinbeck said, that's where the map should fold. That that's the division between the east and the west. And east of the Missouri is farmland, cornfields very flat and as soon as you cross the river it starts to getting a little more hilly more like the prairies more like the short grass prairies of the west and it's going to be like rolling hills and gradually becoming the look of the west and by the time you go to the black hills yeah it's you yeah it's a it's a totally different world out there it's 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 a one one of the reasons why you want to drive cross country because you get to experience that gradual and sometimes not so gradual change of scenery. Exploring with Sir Bricks. Uh, thank you for that super chat. Good evening, Robert. Yesterday was my 39th birthday. Oh, to be 39 again. Uh, and we traveled through the northeastern states uh, to Acadia National Park. I didn't get to see the sunrise at Cadillac Mountain, just like you, on our way to Vermont now. <coughs> oh, Vermont. Great, uh, great lobster rolls and great, uh, well, in Maine too, of course, but Vermont has some great lobster rolls too, and the, and the maple syrup, and uh, and everything made with maple. You know, they have like the ice cream that I forget what they call it now, but it's like a like a soft soft served ice cream. It's, it's good. Uh, try all that stuff and the donuts as well. Cross the Missouri, where the West begins. Yep. Refills anyone says the RV DJ. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm dry. But uh, has anybody seen my mom? Is she still here? Maybe I can sneak in a second one. Uh, maybe not. Uh, the night is young, as they say. 
Seems like the biggest downer of RVing is how quickly the gray tank fills up and makes you sad and happy. That's where the portable campground honeypot guy makes his living, right? Yeah, and you can also get one of those uh, blue blue boys or whatever they call them because they used to be blue. Now they're gray. Uh, I don't know. I'm I'm not really crazy about the the uh, about the honey wagon guy. I've 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 haven't had good experiences with honey wagons. The first one was at at uh, Camp Golf many many years ago, and he broke my gray tank uh, handle. And the second one was at 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 uh, the Winnebago Grand National Rally two years ago, and he actually broke the the whole thing. So it wouldn't close all the way in. And uh, it only takes one big, nasty black tank accident for you to take action. And uh, and uh, now I have like an extra valve at the end of the of, of the of the sewer outlet. And unless I unless that toilet is like you know splashing stuff up i am not using a honey wagon i'm not giving those people my business it's uh it's i haven't had good experiences jason bergeron sneaking another ipa onto the table lol <laughs> uh, Hey, Bro William Brody, 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 I almost missed your super chat. Thank you for that super chat. Bringing my famous pork chops to NJ24. Well, that's reason enough to go to NJ24. If, uh... By the way, my mom says, thanks. I was in construction and I would never use them porta potties. Ah, porta potties, um, I, I mean... In an emergency, you know, I would. Why would why why did we change the the, the conversation to talking about crappy subjects? <laughs> you uh, crappy subjects or that statue still getting a lot of publicity? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to um, AI remove it from the. I don't know. It's just a soldier going like this. I mean, <laughs> actually, okay, here. I'm sure it's just a memorial for someone. Okay, there. We're gonna take the, the <laughs> take the statue out of the equation. Yeah. Uh, Sandra Winners, traveling Robert. I'm getting so excited about Monday, April 15, when we're gonna have our Kiwanis Action Club meeting, in, where they're going to reward me as a Kiwanis Action Club member. Hey, congratulations, Sandra, and uh, congrats on Eclipse in Montana 2044. Only 90 years old. See you the squad and the squad there. Yep. Uh, 2044. 2044. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's 20 years from now. Wasn't 20. 20 yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in my 70s actually. So we're all gonna be geezers, but we're gonna if if we um, we're gonna caravan to Mountain Mikey's place. Yeah. yeah. At 20 miles an hour, probably. <laughs> <In the lake. laughs> Big Jim's lay. The extra valve for emptying the tanks can really help prevent the stuff from hitting the fan or the road. Yep. That's for sure. I'm, I'm never, ever uh, traveling without one. That, that much, I can tell you. What's the temp there, Robert? I don't know. Let's see what... Uh, According to, and let me use this, probably it feels high 70s, maybe 80 right now. If I were to estimate, 81 says Samsung, 82 says uh, my Raider. So, yeah, it's a uh, statue, statue of limitations. Time's up. <laughs> yeah. Chef at large, who came up with the name Honey Wagon anyway? A better name would be the Mountain Dewers with the slogan, it's hot brown and there's plenty um, of it. We can get it. I don't know, man. That's how about we, we talk about maple syrup instead of honey and wagons. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sheila McMurtry. Thank you for that super chat. Too many insects in Texas. Well, that's the first thing I noticed once I crossed uh, the border from New Mexico. All of a sudden, my windshield is full of bugs and uh, and my GoPro up on the roof, it's uh, the, the lens, you know, a bug landed right in the middle. You know, it's a pretty big lens, you know. The bug could land on the on the side and not affect my video. No, boom, smack in the middle. Uh, <clears throat> Keep hiking and enjoying IPA. You'll make it to the next eclipse. Yep. One can only hope. And I would love to hang out with Mikey uh, unless I sold Peli Camp by then, which you never know. Uh, but otherwise, I'm, I'm going to enjoy it at Peli Camp. I mean, what better place than at your own... I don't know if Mike's driveway could fit my camper. I don't know if Peli Camp can fit your your your, your driveway. I mean, if your if Peli Camp's uh, driveway. Condo on I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm planning on... You know, expanding Pelicam's uh, driveway a little bit. Yeah, the tail swing looks like a nice campground. Yeah, a lot of streets is nice. It's nice. The only the only thing here we're getting a little bit of a road noise from that uh, loop twenty four eighteen. What is called? Was it called the sixteen oh four? Sixteen oh four. We're me and numbers, but uh, close. Close. Not even, <laughs> not even, not even close. Uh, we took the ferry from Galveston Island. Uh, Galveston is, you know, another trip in the near future. Probably a better in summer, but like maybe spring or fall. Be from Galveston Island all the way to South Padre. You know, I know it, 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 you cannot go through the barrier islands the whole way, but kind of, you know, in and out, in and out. And maybe uh, catch uh, a Starlink, uh, a SpaceX launch from Boca Chica, down there at the at the very southern tip of Texas. Um, Maria de Carly, thank you, Robert, for the birthday song for Hobby. He's flying to. The West next week, Rapid City, right in back lot to the East. Yeah, Rapid City, the whole area, the whole Black Hills area is, uh, is cool. It's cool, cool area. Young Dave, hey, insects got to make a living like everyone else. Actually, we'd be in trouble without them. Yeah, I know, but i rather, you know, I mean, it's, let's face it. Right now, it's probably a lot worse at Pelicamp, so I'm not complaining. At least it's, here, you it's just flies. They're kind of nasty bugs, but they don't bite. You know, they just they're just a nuisance. So there you go. And uh, we've got another visitor here live at uh, the live stream. Raúl's photography. Raúl Medina. Raúl Medina, here you are yes. again before a live audience here in San Antonio, Texas. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to the show. Glad to be here. <laughs> Glad you're here in San Antonio. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Jason and Missy, Raul. Um, any thoughts about coming back through Kansas City anytime soon? I would love to. It's one of my favorite cities in the Midwest, for sure. In fact... Don't tell the people from Texas, but you guys have really good barbecue too. Just don't tell them, don't tell them. <laughs> Speaking of South Padre, whoops, you guys spit all over my computer. Of South Padre Island, I just watched uh, a drive on the beach on the live stream this morning. I would love to drive on the beach there, uh, you know. I think Starship is going to do fine. Um, check out Green River Utah, Rafael Munoz. Yeah, Green River is uh, it's a tributary to the Colorado, right? That's the, the, the confluence is somewhere there near uh, Moab. So, uh, a lonesome pine farm, the old cowboy rubber. I got 12 plus inches of rain east of Stinghachi, Florida. Well, that's very close to Belly Camp. So, uh, yeah, 5.52 p.m. here in the central time zone. 
Eh, Big James Slade, it's Ramblin' Robert. Can you see rocket launches from Flagami? We could see the, the night launches from Kennedy Space Center standing on the patio in Naples. Quite a sight to see. I don't know. We have a lot of light pollution in Flagami. And uh, I've never been able to see one. Maybe from Miami Beach, you know, right next to the ocean. If uh, if you look north and you know where to look, I mean, it's, it's probably going to look like a little match, you know, like a little match going up. But I haven't. Are you sure that beer is 6%? That's what, I mean, it could be mislabeled, you know. <laughs> Jeremy Weiser, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Uh, Susan Tidwell, where can we watch the Sun Outdoors productions that you are starring in? Uh, that's going to be out probably in about a month or two at the Sun Outdoors uh, official channel. Um And, uh, of course, there's going to be a, my version, you know, I, I haven't been able to, to film all that much because, you know, it's filming for them, filming for me, you know, and, uh, um, but it's going to be, it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. They're, they're getting some, some, you know, they have like really professional cameras and gimbals and microphones and, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a different type of production, but very professional. So I think you guys are going to like it. Don Barrett Walsh, hello Robert and Ely. Happy Friday! Just missed your, missed you on this trip. We did Route Route 66 with some side trips. One of these days, okay. One of these days. One of these days, and um, maybe part of the plan. I have so many plans. Never mind. I want I want to do Route 66 uh, this year or maybe next year, but uh, we'll see. Edward Doran, uh, hello, Robert from Toronto, Canada. All is well, I trust. All is well. Just hunky dory, man. Thank you for asking. We're here in the. In, it's getting hot, and I wrote a song about it. Texas is hot. You know, one minute we're we're in Utah with snow, and you know we went to even we went to uh, Sandia Peak in Albuquerque, and I mean it was chilly and. and, and The ground level at 6,000 feet or whatnot. 10,000 feet up there, we had a snowstorm. I mean, like legit. Two days later, we are in, 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 here in Texas and it's 80 degrees. I'm like, Texas, it's just Texas, man. Yep. <laughs> we make our own weather. Patricia Andrea Clara Chiodo desde Argentina. Saludos, Argentina. Someday, un, algún día iremos a la Argentina. Actually, I want to do Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina. Uh, that would be a, a great trip. Raul Medina, thank you for that super chat. <laughs> thank you for having me over. That is awesome. You're welcome, man. And uh, uh, Pixero Nomad, from where I live, it Itajaí, Santa Catarina, in the south of Brazil. You can take my trailer and pickup truck and go to the extreme south of the world, Ushuaia, Argentina. It's only 3,000 miles. That's that's nothing compared to uh, all we travel to. Exactly. Well, that's what I was talking about. You know, maybe take take the, the there's the longest beach in the world is right down there in in southern Brazil. I forget the is Praia something. I forget the, the exact name of the the beach. But then, you know, we could do like Punta del Este, Uruguay, Buenos Aires, and, you know, work our way west to the wine region of Mendoza, because wine, why not? Um, and then drive straight south to, to Ushuaia. And I would even love to go to, to, to up, up the Andes, you know, up the, the, to, the, to the mountain pass with the border with Chile. They have a big, big cross or a big sculpture of Jesus Christ up there. It's supposed to be like really cool. Um, so 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 many destinations, so little time, you know. Uh, Ra um, okay, no, Raúl Medina. I already, I already read that one. <laughs> I could read it again. Sari <laughs> uh, Colley, thank you for that super chat. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your first super on a live stream. So thank you so much. 
And uh, it looks like we're running out of time here. Traveling Robert, you also need to get back to Carson City, Nevada. Also love Sandra Williams. We will, we will get back one of these days very soon, actually, probably to the capital of Nevada. Anyway, Carson City. We'll do the whole loop around Lake Tahoe and then go to Carson City. Uh, Bob Leach, what's the Sun Outdoors business model? How does it work? Is it like a timeshare thing? Not really. I mean, uh, you can do it either way. They just own a, a lot of RV resorts. Some of them are like this one. This one is more of like a permanent. Uh, there, there's a lot of permanent people. That's, this one is called a Sun Retreats. But the Sun Outdoors, you know, some of them are built from scratch. Beautiful uh, um Resorts like the one we stayed in Colorado in, in the Rocky Mountains there by Granby. Like, um, uh, and they have one in Isla Morada that I keep telling that you, you, we need to do a video in Isla Morada, you know, yeah. because Isla Morada, hello, um, it's the Florida Keys, you know, my backyard. But I mean, that's they're, they're, they're really a real estate company, I think, even more that, you know, they have so many properties all over the United States. Hey, Amaranto Cabrera, Robert, you can take the Pan American Highway to Argentina. Argent Argentina, hello? How many? Do you no, only 6.5. 6 uh, and I'm, I'm, I want to do that. I mean, the first part will be going into Mexico. Central America could be a little... Uh, uh, it, could, it could be complicated crossing some of those borders, I hear. Uh, this is totally an anecdotal. And then the big problem is the Darien Gap. You know, there's no road going from Panama into Colombia. Um, there's some sketchy trails, but yeah, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want to take those. So uh, we, got, we would have to ship the, the RV from Panama to Colombia, you know, over water. And then, yeah, I would, I would just... Um, Hug the 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 west of the of the of the Andes Mountains, you know. Do Colombia, Ecuador. I would love to do Ecuador. You know, stand there. Uh, they, they have a in Quito. They have a, a monument of the the, the equator. Because Ecuador, of course, it, the name derives from the equator, and the, you know, it's the, the the place where every day of the year is the same. You have get twelve hours of daytime and twelve hours of nighttime. Every day of the year, um, there there are no seasons, and then from there down to Peru, great food in Peru, and then we could go into Lake Titicaca, go into into Bolivia, maybe down to Chile, cross into Argentina, Brazil. I don't know. You know, it's it's it, it, South America is larger than it looks on the map, so um, it, it would be a great long trip. And it is 6 p.m. We're out of time. We could do a little bit of overtime overtime here. Just so, so we can say hello to MT, Mikey, Mike and Barbie watching Vandenberg rocket launches from the Q area are cool. Hmm, really? I want to go to the Q. Still in uh, Arizona. We're up in Prescott. Mm -hmm. right in Prescott. Yeah, Mike just sent me a picture. Okay, Prescott, that's uh, near Sedona area by Jerome. Yep. Just past Jerome, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to go back to Arizona next winter. It's uh, it's one of those happy places. Well, I'm gonna have to go with you to architect my spot to make sure that we have you know the required yeah amount of space. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll bring the tape measure and uh, yeah. you just have to. We'll mark it, flag it. You'll do that, you know, along all the all the choya cacti. We'll, we'll help remove some of that choya for you. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had a Joshua tree. Some of, some of the properties around me have Joshua trees, but we just don't. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this Friday. This is the last Friday live that we're going to do from the road, at least for three weeks or so, maybe four. Uh, next week, we'll be at the Flagami Studio once again, as we usually are. And uh, until then, you know, I'm riding. I need to bring the virtual guitar. We had a guitar here yesterday. Riding in my RV, wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you next Friday from South Florida.
Bye bye. And the breath.